Hello everyone and welcome to another video on the channel. Today I thought we could take a look at this, the Porsche 914-6. Now this is a very, very rare car in the game actually, there's none on the auction house. And the only way to get this car at the moment, knowingly, is if you complete, or if you have completed, um, go to the festival playlist and I go back to summer, if you've completed the summer season fully, and as you can see at the bottom left, it shows the Porsche 914-6 if you completed it to 100%, which I have. So, I ended up getting this car. I haven't done anything to it at the moment, so I have no idea what this thing is like. It's slow. Obviously, this car is not brand new to the series. But, it is new to this game, I think. I have not seen anybody drive this thing yet, so it's, uh, it's a fairly rare car. So, I wanted to mess around with it. I want to see what we could actually do to this car. Can it be fast? Can it be good to slide? I don't know. Could it be a very, very good handling car somehow? Just out of the blue? Obviously, it's an old car, so it's not going to be, uh... It's not going to be that amazing to drive stock. It's not particularly fast. <laughs> it's not particularly fast at all. I've been second gear and it's struggling. I can get it to oversteer just a little bit. Oh, wow. It's struggling. It's struggling real bad. So, what I'm going to do in this video is mess around with it. See what we can do. What sort of customization options we can have on it. And pretty much, obviously, the engine swaps. Because uh, I don't think that the standard engine is going to be able to, to put out some serious power. I also really want to see what sort of stats this thing has at the moment. So, let's have a look here. I got to this. 125 horsepower. That is monstrous. Um, it weighs less than a thousand kilos though, so less than a ton. It's got 1.99, well, basically a two liter engine. Um, interesting car. Very, very interesting car. So, it is mid-engine rear wheel drive as well. Um, I don't know why I wanted to flywheel. Let's have a look at the uh, at the options here. So we can turn uh, twin turbo this or supercharge it if we really wanted to. Um, keep the standard engine in it. But I think we can do some more interesting things. We can put a 2.0-litre flat 4, that is a super engine. We have a rally super engine, 4.0-litre flat 6, and we have a 3.3-litre flat 6 turbo. I don't know what Porsche this is from. I think I'm putting a 4.0-litre in this thing. I think that's what I'm doing, and then I'm going to turbo it, and then it's going to be even faster. Um, Alright, why not? It'll sound a lot better as well. Uh, so if you turbo that, 577 horsepower, a stock. Um, just by changing the engine over. Obviously, no customization options for this thing that actually make it look good. Um, as for our wheels and tires, I think I will go with some race tires on this thing since we are putting that much power, especially only going to the rear wheels. 235s in the front, sure. And then 245s in the rear, not too bad. I kind of like the original wheels. I don't really know if I would have changed them just because this thing looks really, really good. Uh, like as a classic car. Um, we can change the track width though, ever so slightly, which I might do. We'll go to like the middle option here. As for the rear end, I think the second one again should do quite nicely. It's not that bad looking. It really isn't that bad looking. It's such a weird and quirky car. Like the back end just looks so boring to me. The back end just looks really, really boring. It just does look like a VW as well. <laughs> I know that this was, um, I think, like a joint thing between the uh, VW group. Well, obviously Porsche is part of the VW group, but like it's just like a joint thing between VW and Porsche to make this car. Obviously because there's a VW badge on the back, but uh, I do remember this this car. I do remember reading about it. Ah, it's just a funny. It's just a funny looking car, uh, in my opinion. Anyway, let's just upgrade it fully, and then we'll see what it's like. Race spec springs and dampers make this thing look unreal. We can turn this thing into a drift car. How interesting would that be? I mean, it's kind of boring that I'm drifting everything, so I I know I'll probably be kicking myself after this, like, being be like, you know, I could have made this thing into a drift car. People are going to be telling me, like, down in the comments, like, this is an unreal drift car, you should have turned it into a drift car. So I know that the, the ones that I decided to not turn into drift cars, people would probably end up messing with me, um, telling me that uh, that it's an unreal drift car, or not messing, uh, messaging me, telling me that it's an unreal drift car, and I should have done uh, a drift build on it, but uh, I have done multiple drift builds in the past, so I think it's time to to sort of step away in this video at least. 960 horsepower. It's actually not that bad. A car that weighs less than uh, a thousand kilos. I mean, the power to weight ratio for this thing is pretty unreal. Very, very interesting car. Again, it's still as a rear wheel drive, so I don't really know 
how good or bad this is gonna work. I did put the white stars on it. It does have race stars on it as well. It is a little squirrely, obviously. I mean, if you're careful with the power... It can put it down. No, I can't. These tires can't... These tires cannot handle this power. It goes around corners alright. Oh god. Just sort of have to be careful. Because this is a monstrous engine in this tiny little car. Look how fast this thing accelerates. Oh my god. It does go sideways very easy. This isn't even on drift suspension, it's just on... Of the standard race suspension. If I short shift, this thing still accelerates very, very quickly. Oh my. Oh my god. Alright. Relax, little car. Relax, relax, relax. Not bad. Not bad at all, actually. Let me have a look here real quick and see what the tune is on this thing. So, it can do 242 miles per hour. I wonder if this can go even faster than that. It says 242, but I mean... The graph says otherwise. If I go ahead and stretch out my gears, it'll still say 242. But again, I think it's just with the arrow of this thing. So, 242.7 might be the fastest that it can do. Maybe, like I said, it is just because of the, uh, the aerodynamics of this thing. Um, that'll prevent it from going even faster, and maybe a little bit of the setup, but for now, let's just see how fast this thing goes. Because I think it should still be able to pick up some good pace and, and actually pull off some good speed. A thousand horsepower, pretty much, in a car that weighs less than 900 kilos, I think. It's, uh, very impressive. Again, I need to see what the top speed of this thing is. With the setup. Oh, we got a little newer Porsche here. Hello, Porsche. Goodbye. <laughs> oh my god. Is that rear wheel drive? Maybe I should all wheel drive swap this thing. It's still pulling though. 230. There's 240. 242, 3, 4. Not bad. That was not bad at all. I gotta all-wheel drive swap this thing because I may make it a little bit more stable instead of um, <laughs> instead of it just being rear-wheel drive. And I don't know if that's gonna do much for the top speed, but I'm gonna have a look. Again, it, it will make it more stable to, uh, to drive, so uh, hopefully it's a little bit better. However, it is gonna make it heavier. How much heavier, though? About 40 kilos heavier? Okay, okay, but I mean, I still have to mess around with this thing. Sorry about the text, and uh, do that. So what is it at now? 928 kilos, 960 horsepower. It's still a really, really good power to weight ratio. Still doing really, really good. So uh, I need to uh, I need to go ahead and see, it, see this now, what it's like, top speed wise. I think it should definitely handle a lot better. It should definitely put down the power a little better now than before. Um, so it should be a little bit easier to drive as well, and it shouldn't be as, as squarely and all over the place. Oh yeah, much better. Now I'm just going too fast at the corners. Because the front wheels can't cope with the speed that this car is going. <laughs> so it's it actually starts to understeer. Not bad. Much better than before. Like, it's it's miles better than before. I'm still a little bit slow in the corners because, again, those front wheels need to be a lot wider, but obviously we don't have that option. And then the brakes as well, just because this, the, again, the tires. The tires, the amount of power that this thing has to have to slow that down. <laughs> it's kind of struggling. 
Alright, let's try this now. Let's have a look as well at our tuning to see how much of a difference that made. Changing this thing to all-wheel drive. So it made it slower, obviously. But if I go ahead and stretch my gears out. 238, 244. 245. So the graph says, or not the graph, but the actual stats say that this can go faster now. 246. Okay, so it's not going to go any, any faster than that. So the stats do say that this is going to have a higher top speed now. So let's just see. Watch the other engine be much better than this one. And I just decided to choose this one because it has the highest displacement and the highest power output at the time before tuning. This is nice. Pulls very nicely. Keeps going as well. For... Yeah, that's the only problem. The tires, the front tires of this thing. Now, now that we've done all that, and the front tires seem to slip a little bit, what if I make this thing into a drift car with this engine in it? Because, again, it is a very small car. It should have very good handling for drifting, especially if you put the drift suspension on it. Um, it should make it a lot more interesting. Again, usually cars that have, uh, like, a short wheelbase... Uh, seem to do very very well as drift cars because you can flick them back and forth very easy very they're very very easy to control especially at like big big angles so let's have a look and see if this thing is any good as uh, as a drift car just uh, adding just the, the normal drift suspension on it and seeing what it's like i'm gonna lock the diff as well and then we'll have more power going to the rear wheels as well so we'll do something like maybe Let's do 85%. Let's do 85% of the power going through rear wheels. Let's see how this thing handles uh, a couple of corners. Gear ratios may be kind of bad for this thing at the moment. Because they, they are very, very stretched out. But we'll see. Yeah, these gear ratios are terrible. I don't know, it's, not, it's okay. It really isn't bad at all. Let me go ahead and mess with my gears though, first of all. Let's get these down nicely. So we can have our more use of our gears. Okay. Oh, I let it go a little bit too slow there. It really isn't bad at all. I think this could deal with a little bit more power or worse wheels. I think that will make it a little bit better. I don't even know why I'm trying to get like a score here, but I'm trying to see how good I can get this thing to um, to slide. 100%, I think, with the... Uh, with sports tires, this might actually be quite an alright drift car for points, if you're doing points. If you're doing point drifting. Other than that... It actually handles really well. I'm not even on, like, simulation steering. It's not bad! It's a very interesting car. Very, very interesting car. Yeah, I think it's lacking power for for it to be a um, on race tires. If you just clutch kick it a little bit, oh, it's so smooth, so so smooth. Okay. <laughs> Look, it's so smooth as I smash it off a rock. It is actually really, really smooth to drive. You know what this car could be, actually? This car could be a very, very good Forza Town car. So, like, if you're doing any sort of live Forza Town events, top speed is good, handling is actually not that bad. 
And you can slide this thing for days. It's uh, quite a good, like, overall car. It is quite a good overall car. Plus, it's very, very rare. You're probably not going to see a lot of people using this thing. Well, this was it. The 914-6. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video of this car. Nice little rare piece of history here. Uh, getting a bit sideways, trying to see what top speed is like. Seeing what we can pretty much do to this car. It's uh, Like I said, it's a nice rare car in this game as well. So, um, I wanted to see what it was like. I wanted to see what we could actually do to this thing. So... That was it. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like it, share it, do whatever you guys want. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And, uh, yeah. Let me know if you guys have done anything interesting with this car. Uh, with any different engine options, or if you decide to turn it into an off-road car and it's an absolute monster. Something that maybe I haven't done or I have missed out with this car. Let me know. And I'll probably revisit it in the future. But for now, that's it. Thank you guys again for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.